Shalom, and you're now locked in here. It's like Talk TV, where you get nothing but the raw and the real whenever I'm in front of the camera. So make sure y'all show the page some love, like, subscribe, and share. Shalom and greetings, and welcome back to another episode here at Is A Light Talk TV, one of the number one platforms where what? That's right, where you don't get no paid okay? My family, y'all bear with me this morning. I'm still in the weather a little bit. Still got the sniffles and stuff like that. So um, just bear with me. But y'all see the title. Okay, that's right. Today we're going to be talking about Big U and um, Wack 100, a.k.a. Uncle Wack, a.k.a. Big Pyru, a.k.a. Uh, the king, the, 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 the king of paperwork, godfather of paperwork, anything dealing with paperwork. It basically got to go through WAC 100 first, and he has to verify if it's, you know, official or not, okay? And WAC 100 is in the middle of some stuff, and we just got to talk about it today, okay? Now, I know y'all saying, Big Light, what in the world does WAC 100 got to do with the end time? It's the, the end of the world is here, you know, Jesus, whatever name they call it on, is coming back, and, and we shouldn't have to, we shouldn't be worried about this. And this is where people are wrong at. What you guys got to understand, I keep telling you this, your children, while you guys are at work, uh, whatever it is that you guys are doing, the internet is raising your children, okay? The youth is sitting down following this stuff that's going on in the industry with these different rappers and stuff. And they're listening to people like WAC 100 that's supposed to be schooling the people on street codes and street rules. And this person's a rat and this is how it is on the streets. And yet his name is being associated with policing and you know getting people sent up the river which we're getting ready to look at that way you guys can judge for yourself uh what you believe is going on okay um i believe whack 100 has some explaining to do we're going to get into it right okay so make sure you guys hit the like button subscribe to the channel share this video okay we're down there at uh 20 000 followers and i know um uh, i want to bless some family uh so make sure you guys Hit the like button, subscribe, share this thing, okay? We almost did. We'll be there, I'd say, this week, okay? Now, WAC 100, okay? Getting back to WAC 100, right? Now, WAC 100 believes that Big U was behind the video that was released on World Star Hip Hop yesterday, right? And it's basically a documentary basically detailing how uh, WAC 100 is a snitch, and we're going to look at that. WAC 100 would also go ahead and respond to the video that was put out, right? Now, I'm going to play WAC 100 first, his response to that video, and then we're going to go back and spend a little time on the video that was released on World Star Hip Hop, okay? So, <laughs> every time, every time, every time. So, this is the video right here in which uh, WAC 100 uh, responds, and I believe it was on, uh, on, on uh, Clubhouse. But you can go, I'm going to pull this off uh, Black Savage ENT. You guys can go here, check this out. But he basically uh, responds to this. Now, listen to what WAC 100 had to say. Let niggas know, civilians and, and corporations, I'm going to wear your ass out. Because if I threaten you to put my head, you're going to wear my ass out. Street niggas, they put street nigga do something that I don't like, I'm never fouling nothing. We're going to deal with it in the streets. So basically, Ain't gonna happen. You, saying you, you will never it. see me fall on Deuce Hems or none of that shit. It won't happen. And we going to deal with it when I catch you. Yeah, I but if you a corporation, if you're motherfucking World Star Hip Hop, if you're motherfucking uh, TMZ, I'm going to bust your ass. I'm going to call these Beverly Hills niggas I pay every month for no reason and get them their 25%. And run the number and yo, tell them five million. Tell them we will understand court for the next eight years. And tell them, do that numbers, and we'll sell them for the 1.5. Because once they see, damn, this nigga gonna stretch us out. We're gonna spend three million. And th they gonna settle. That's a fact. They definitely This is a fact. I don't know what you nigga. What you, is you crazy? This is free money. This is why I say big news is dumb. Now, what's gonna happen is when my people file the suit on World Star. Shit rolls down here. Rose Star gonna say, hey, man, what the fuck is this that you have us put up? And, you know, we doing a podcast with you and we trust what you're saying, but this shit right here, they, they want to let you go. I'm, I know what they gonna do. I, I, I think he confused, Wack. He got a regular suit different from a civil suit. 
A civil suit, you can only get paid by money. Yeah, it's paid by money, nigga. This civil suit. What the fuck is you talking about? This is just simple money, nigga. I'm putting that's free money, nigga. What you mean? Now, let me ask you this question, because we just we just kicked it. Why do you think you? Why do you think this nigga Big U deflected from all the questions that he was getting asked yesterday, bro? So anyway, family, now you guys can go watch the uh, watch this video or listen to what uh, Wack had to say in regards to the video that was put up. Now this is his response. Um, he believes that Big U was behind this. He also uh, is speaking about suing World Star. Um, but if you actually look at the uh, and we, we I'm gonna just go ahead and pull this up real quick. Because we can already go there anyway. If you actually go look at the uh, video in regards to the the snitching allegations that was that was put out on uh, World Star right here, okay. As you can see, it says Whack 100 exposed for being an alleged uh, federal informant documentary, right? So they did put the word alleged in there, basically saying that this is allegedly. So I don't see how Whack. Is going to be able to sue them okay this is first and foremost right but there was some damaging things that was brought out in this video that was put out that whack 100 did not elaborate on and these are words that's coming from uh whack 100's uh own mouth now you guys can uh uh go watch this video yourself but i want to key in on some things that i want to talk about uh that i think that whack 100 does need to clear up now i want you guys to listen and this is coming from wax mouth this ain't nobody said this and this and that this is exactly straight from his own mouth now listen to what whack 100 said um so this is coming from wax own mouth right now that right there now do mistakes happen they do but in situations like this where you got a drug deal that's going down and it's supposed to be, you know, these, all these keys that's involved in it. Um, I think the feds know the people that they're watching, the people that they are investigating. And I just don't see them running in the whack 100's house and not knowing that who house this is or whatever. Because you got to go. You got to remember, you got to go to the grand jury to go get the 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 uh, the the, uh, the warrant. You see what I'm saying? You got to go to the grand jury. You can't just go to the, the police. Can't. This ain't training day, right? Where, you know, you just pull out this thing. Like, they got to go before the grand jury and say, we're going to die. Woo -woo -woo. And then this is whatever the case may be. Because the, the judge has to sign off on these search warrants when they're going to do these raids to bust people and stuff. So for them not to know that that is whack house, uh, whatever the case may be, and then come in there and not know all this stuff just it it, it, it sounds fishy okay it sounds like papa does you know what i mean but let's let whack finish with what he's saying this is artlist.io a platform now that right there sounds sketchy you know what i'm saying whack 100 is telling the federal government y'all know this and that we know how corrupt and dirty that the federal government is so i highly doubt that whack 100 is telling the federal government what he's saying that he's saying you know Y'all know that this is dirty. We going wooty 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 woo. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Just listen. Just 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 listen, right? Because I'm a, I'm a tie. I'm a I'm gonna make it make sense here in a couple minutes. Oh, you are. Wack is explaining going down to the federal building. Now he said, let me back that we up. We didn't know you. That boy put us on you, right? But we are owe you one. Wack is explaining going down to the, the federal, federal building. He claims that the federal government told him that we should there. We are owe you one. What could the feds possibly owe you? What could the feds actually do for you? Let's just say, let's just say hypothetically, what WAC 100 is saying is true. The federal government said, "Hey, man, we owe you one. What could, owe you one for what? Oh, the police got you. We are gonna look out for you on this. Don't, hey, don't arrest them because we like. Come on, fam. That that man. That's Hollywood, man. That stuff don't happen in real life, man. You know what I'm saying? Let's just listen. Let's just listen to what WAC's saying, man. Because it sounds about right there stop right there stop right there okay now you guys can go watch the rest of that video whatever the case may be but there's a couple things that i want to point out the first thing is the federal government don't do favors and when they're doing favors it's for people that's corrupt they don't do re they don't give real gangsters they're not giving you no favors they're not doing no ious unless there's something that's exchanging either you're working for them and helping them or it's just, hey, we will holler at you. They're not just doing favors, you know what I'm saying, for us like that. It just, it doesn't happen, okay? Now, WAC 100 claims that he called his lawyer, 
See how he threw his lawyer in there? I called my lawyer. The lawyer called the police. And I asked the police, is this and that? Why would the police tell you the people that's telling them that if this people is a former? Why would they why would they just, yeah, he's an informant, he's working for us? That like that does not happen. Okay. So whack 100 is lying, man. Like this, like he I mean, it's cool. All that sounds good to, you know, throw people off. I'm going to sue World Star, this and that. But we got this coming straight out of his own mouth. First off, the feds is not running in your crib and not know who crib that is. They know who's there and what ties you have there because they got to go get the warrant from the grand jury. They can't just kick doors in and just, oh, we think it's whack 100 crib and we're going to the, the feds are not that sloppy. Okay. Now. They got the warrant. They came into the crib, and now Wack One Hundred is claiming that, like, what, you, like, like. Let me tell you something, family. If the feds running in anybody crib and all of that stuff ain't right, you got to know that they're suing. Okay, what deal could you work with the feds? You know what I'm saying? Unless the feds got something on you, and you like, okay, well, y'all did this illegally, but then I, y'all had this on me, wooty wooty woot. Now something like that, but just out of the blue, where they got you on something. Now, that guy, now, if you listen to it, the guy said the reason that Wack 100 was locked up because he was on the wiretaps, okay? So, if that's the case, this is something that's totally different, you know what I'm saying? So, once again, why would this man lie and say that, you know what I'm saying, and tell you what happened and why Wack 100 was locked up, but then Wack 100 is saying something totally different. I think he bogus on this one. I think he need to really come out and explain. Oh, that sounds good. I'm going to sue them and this and that. But these are words that's coming from your own mouth. So I don't know how you're going to be able to sue Worldstar when you're the one that's saying that. This is just like you going at T.I. and saying that we don't believe you got a year and a day that your lawyer worked all this and that. You telling us that the federal government came into your house and they said, oh, we this is the wrong house and this and that. Nobody got arrested. Like, like, come on, man. This is something straight out of a movie. You know what I mean? It don't happen like that in real life. And if you from the streets, you know that. You know what I'm saying? So whack, you got to come again. That story don't make any sense whatsoever. The poll, the feds is not doing favors, especially when you're wrapped up. They will lie on you before they do you a favor. They will lie and run all type of red lights to lock you up if they know that you're involved in this stuff. You know what I'm saying? Look at the biggest gangsters. Look at people like Larry Hoover. They basically got him on some entrapment type stuff. You know what I'm saying? So when the government wants you, they're going to sit you down. And if they got to lie, whatever they got to do, they're going to do that. You think these people are just gonna run in your career where they know this this is gonna be a lawsuit? And then just hey, you know, hey, whack, yeah, we just out here on the humble. You ain't really got nothing to do with it. We do apologize for that, and we owe you one. Just don't sue us and we this and that. And you like, yeah, y'all lucky this and that. And then you call the favor in just to like who does that? You know what I'm saying? Why would I call a favor in to the if you already know that this person is a rat and you got all this stuff? Why would you call in a favor to the feds to just to tell them, yeah, this dude is a, a rat? And then and then you think they're going to give you the favor? The police not the feds not doing all that, man. It's just it's too much. And then why would they do that when they know you're an informant? If this is true and they know that you're going to tell on them, just like you're, you're speaking on everybody else's situation. So the fact of the matter is, is that this stuff is coming straight out of Wack 100's own mouth. This is not nobody saying this is coming out of his mouth and the people that was involved in that case. You know what I'm saying? So my thing is Wack 100 needs to come out and clear that up. You know what I'm saying? The feds don't do favors. And then... You know, they just ran in your crib. They didn't know who crib this, this, that stuff was. You called the lawyer. Hey, what's up with so-and-so? I mean, like, if this, if what Wack 100 is saying, what, what he's saying is, is true, then, I mean, that's just got to be Big Pie rule. This, this, is, this, this, is, this is Big Pie, man. I'm telling you, man. Like, it's just, it don't make sense. So, Wack 100 is not looking good, in my opinion. Y'all leave your opinion. Let me know what y'all think about this. You know what I'm saying? But I believe all of this is unfolding the way that it's unfolding because, see, WAC 100 is trying to coach the youth and tell them this is street rules, this is this, this is that. But yet you're caught up. You're in the middle of stuff and you're not following none of that stuff. You know what I'm saying? None of that stuff he's talking about, he's not following, okay? Or didn't follow it when this particular situation happened. So y'all tell me what y'all thoughts is. Leave those comments down in the comment section, and then we're going to go from there. So y'all stay safe out there. I'm signing off here on Israelite Talk TV. Shalom.